my name is Stefan. I'm CTO of 42, one of the companies behind the WeTab. The WeTab is a tablet PC similar to the iPad, which is based on Migo. Um, Migo is a new operating system from Intel and from Nokia. It developed from Maemo from Nokia side and Moblin from, from Intel side. And actually it joined forces uh, with the best of both systems. And we have chosen Migo um, because actually Migo is, fits very good on these kind of devices on a tablet PC. So we have, for example, we have a standby boot up for one second and the whole system boots up from 16 seconds into a working online system. Um, we started the development for WeTap three years ago. First, we, the first prototype was based on Debian, then we changed to Ubuntu, and then finally we changed to Migo, since actually it works perfectly with a Atom processor, and on the other hand, it's very lightweight, so you can adapt very easily the surface, so the graphic user interface. It's meant to be for exactly this. So we have different UIs in Migo for smartphone, for network, for automotive, for setup box and for tablets. And software vendors like we are have special um, well there are special extensions in the Migo system in the framework for exactly these adaptions or that you can do your own well your own UI. The Migo system it's based on the on the current version of Migo. WeTap is the uh, first device worldwide which is launched on Migo basis. It's an 11.6 inch display. It's a um, multi-touch display, so you could um, well actually do all your basic private stuff. It's kind of it's a kind of um, lean back mode where you easily could communicate, you consume, you could read, you could um, listen to music and watch movies and all that stuff basically, which is private stuff and has nothing to do with work. So uh, this is why the, the user interface is completely different than what the, most people probably know from their Windows systems. So what we see here now is the main menu. It's called the pin board. And um, as you can see, as you're on a pin board in your kitchen, you can just, just stick some notes or like this, applications, application starters, content like from websites, content from applications themselves, so in the news mails and all that stuff, directly on the pin board. And um, basically, it's everything is the same if it's a native application, if it's a web application, if it's just content from the web or anything else, everything is here. So you could start from here to every direction. For example, um, just present Facebook for going to facebook.com, so the, the website, which offers all the stuff, not an app, which offers just less stuff, like on the, on the iPhone, you have just 50% of the application, what the application provides, and on the internet, of course, you have the whole stuff. So this is the switching mode between applications. We have, of course, um, you could just uh, Google or whatever you like for search engine. And then you can use the special, waiting for it until it's loaded, the special on the left, left and right side, you see this thumb navigation. So even also on the left side, on the right side, you see the thumb navigation. And because the tablet actually is holding like this, so you can use your thumbs for reading or like even whatever this now is, um, switching to the applications. We have a photo album here, which is based on Qt. Um, basically, it's what you know from, from well, what you expect from a photo album. Um, the browser is Qt WebKit based, so it is um, well, an open source system, which is very nice, adaptable, and you could. Um, well, plug in the, 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 the navigation you like very easily. What you've seen here is like um, the kind of application that run on WeTap is native, like we have seen here, is a native Linux application from the GNOME stack. 
Um, also, every Flash application, hardware accelerated, of course. Um, we have Adobe Air applications. We have Android applications because the whole Android 2.0 2 stack is running in the system natively. So natively means um, it's it's completely in a virtual machine, but it's running very smoothly, and you can switch between the Mego system and the Android system as you want. Um, app stores from different markets, so the marketplace from Android, the marketplace Adobe Air, the Intel App App, which will come and offers many applications, and of course our own application where we put all open source applications which fit on a tablet on the on the system. So as you can see here, it's very performant from one second for system boot, for system boot up from standby, and um, we are really pleased about what Migo does here. First, you could adapt it what you want, um, could add, remove, remove. So it's not a, it's we call it sweet garden. It's not a uh, walled garden as in former times. You can could delete everything what you want, but um, it's a sweet garden. It offers a good variety for a normal user. And um, if you're a special user and you like to have access on the system, it's no problem. You get a root shell and you could do whatever you want on the system.